In this video, I'm gonna show you how a $5 rope could possibly be one of the greatest training aids out there if you want to improve your ball striking with both your irons and your wood. Super, super simple. If you do enjoy the video, make sure you give it a like, and if you haven't already, come and subscribe to the community. Lots more videos coming your way. So, how does a rope, how's a rope gonna help your ball striking? Well, you've gotta understand that the best players have what's called a body-led golf swing. So, what do I mean by that is, is their body's always leading the club head into their backswing, and on the way down, the body's always leading the club head into impact, which is what gives them that lovely compression, and then they finish in a lovely balanced uh, position here. If you struggle with consistency, it's often because your club head is leading the swing. You take it back with your hands. You take it back with your arms. You maybe lift it with your arms. You flick through with your hands and your arms. You're not body led. So the best players look, and they're very, very powerful. They're body led, they're very coordinated on the way back and on the way through here. And what happens is, is we can gain a load of consistency through this motion, right? So how is a rope gonna help you do that? Well. Grab a rope. The thing about the rope is this, it's really, really floppy, right? So if you try, if you have what's called a club head swing as opposed to a body led swing, if you try to use your hands now to get the, the rope behind you, watch this. If I use my wrist, nothing happens with the rope. If I use my arms, look, lift my arms up. Hard to get the, the rope swinging over my head, yeah? So. What's clever about the rope is the rope becomes your coach. It's going to help you actually learn the feelings without having to overthink it. Your body will work out, how do I get this rope naturally extending outwards so it goes over my head? And notice this, what am I doing to do this? I'm having to create some form look of momentum to get that rope extended. Very different, isn't it, to this? Just hands, just arms. What do I do? What can you see? I'm going almost forward to go back. And there's some momentum there. And this is how you get that lovely coordinated motion away, where literally my body's now, look, leading the rope away. You see that? And I'm not thinking about it. My body's worked this out. So from there we go, okay, well then how do we get it back from that takeaway position up to the top? We'll allow your body to kind of work that out Two. Now what I feel to get it over is it's almost naturally a push off the ground. Am I thinking about it? No. The rope is teaching me. It's, it's, I have to do it, yeah? So I'm swinging back here. Now on the way down, if I want to be body led, my body naturally goes forward. Well, if I just swing my arms down, nothing's going to happen, yeah? If I try and just really hit hard with my arms, looks weird, doesn't it? But watch, if I become body led, Notice the difference. I am leading the rope, and that is how natural the rope is staying very extended through the entire shot. My body's trying to work out how to do it. If I suddenly get armsy, can you see a difference? The rope gets off kind of loose and untidy, doesn't it? If I just use my arms now. But when I become body led back, body led through, it completely changes. So let's now imagine we can start to apply those exact feelings now to hitting a shot. So you take the arms and imagine you've almost, if you don't have a rope, you could imagine you've got anesthetic in your arms and your hands. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna allow, imagine the rope, you're gonna start small, allow the rope here, we've got momentum, you went forward, didn't we first? And then we got momentum on the way back. So we start with a takeaway. Just feel up like body led motion. Then how do we get it over our head? How do we get the rope over our heads? Let it swing over our heads, allow the body to lead. How do we get it down? Do we just fire the arms down? No, what do we do? We allow the body look naturally to lead. So if you could start to feel the rope, then jump to a golf club, which I recommend you do on a range, it's a wonderful way to start transferring those feelings to first of all your irons. And we'll go into a second how you can transfer from irons to your woods in a minute. But let's see a shot doing that. So imagine this club's now is just a rope. I'm gonna swing it over my head back and through, really allowing the freedom of that club to go backwards and forwards. Now, what you can do with this is you've got to remember there is a difference between your irons and your woods. So with your irons, you need to be hitting down towards the golf ball, and with your woods, you need to be hitting 
upwards, right? So all you do now is you take this, you've now got the sensation of how your body is kind of figuring out how to get momentum in this rope, swinging it back, and now watch, on the way down what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I swing the rope up and then straight down here. So my, and how, my, what the feedback that I'm getting, I'm gonna try and transfer to my irons first. So what am I doing to hit down? Well, notice this, I am hitting down by just going, swing of my arms. My body is naturally working out how to hit down. I can feel a push off the ground. That push off the ground is helping me release the club, right? So we can start to comfortably apply that first of all to the iron. So I'm like swinging the club back, throwing the club down. Still, again, relating that sensation to the club. So feel that rope going back. Feel that rope going through, throwing that club down, nice and simply, backwards and forwards. And I don't know what it looks like to you, but for me, it feels really, really effortless. So, let's jump to driver. Now, with a driver, you want to hit where? Upwards on the ball. Now, you'll hear loads of people saying, you know, you've got to lean back here and do all this stuff. That sounds complicated at times, doesn't it? So, with a rope, allow the rope to teach you this. Okay, so. What we're gonna do? Well, notice this, I go forward to go backwards, and momentum, yeah? Then, I wanna imagine hitting where? Upwards. So, one, two, and now I'm going to throw it upwards. And notice the rope is always, look, extending upwards. I can really, personally, I feel my body going, pushing up and away from the target as I release the rope this way. If I just did this on my arms and tried to hit up, doesn't, I don't know what you like, but it doesn't look, doesn't feel right to me, I don't know what it looks like to you, but it doesn't feel like a driver swing. There, upwards. Again, the rope is teaching me what I need to do. So let's just jump into Trapman and change the hole. Let's go to maybe hole number one. So we drive, again, with the same principle, we still want this body-led swing. Look at how I'm coordinated on the way back. I'm not using my hands, I'm not kind of lifting the arms up here. I'm feeling the rope's taught me this lovely coordinated motion on the way back. Now I'm swinging it back here, and then how do I swing through? Well, what did the rope, what did it feel like when you swung the rope? The weight naturally would transfer here, then you would release the rope upwards here, and I would naturally push away. This is one and a half seconds you're talking with, with any, any club, you can't think of these things. Allow the rope to give you that feedback. If you're stuck indoors right now, this is a wonderful thing you should be practicing. So again, just with driver, start off nice and steady initially, really feel like this whole thing is a rope, and I've got to work out how to create momentum on the way back and on the way through. Let's have a look at this. But momentum on the way back and on the way through. Not quite the best of strikes in the world, but nice and straight. And it's, I don't know about you, but that just feels like super, super easy as I'm swinging this backwards and forwards. And it's slightly different to irons, right? So remember, the purpose of the rope is to teach you a body-led swing. If you find yourself getting out of position in your backswing and your downswing, it's usually because you're swinging back with your hands. You're moving the wrists up here. You're lifting the club in position. You could, if you want it to work on your takeaway, well, look. Go forward, look at that, get the rope extended, get some momentum. Then what from here, look, momentum. I'm feeling momentum backwards here. And then look, forwards, when do you release it? You will feel that the rope will teach you that. Notice my weight goes forward, right? Then look, I'm, see how, can you see me pushing upwards? Am I thinking about that? No, it's what I'm feeling I'm needing to do to get this rope maintaining this level of extension transfer those feelings to every single club in the bag and you will start to see a massive difference in the wear and how effortless this, the swing is with both your irons and your driver. Hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, maybe share it with one of your friends. And remember, there's a free downloadable practice guide in the description box below so you never have to remember a thing. If you're new to the channel, come and join the community so I can give you more videos just like this one. But until next week, have a great golfing week.